Thanks for coming in today. Yeah, yeah, no worries. <laughs> it was pretty, like the roads weren't too bad, but they were still kind of They were not great. watery. Yeah. <laughs> At least it wasn't cold, so there's no ice. No. There you go. <laughs> I'm Let's so go. pale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going in. Let's say hi to Maria. Hi, Maria. <laughs> say hi. 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 <laughs> I didn't, I just learned about like this, where you can press it and then you can open it. Come on in. Shall I sit? Yeah. Ugh. I hate being on camera. Like when I was doing my videography thing as a talent, Ari put on the big TV there and I was like, Ari, turn that off. I cannot see myself while I do this. What got you to that chair, like in your life? Yeah, so that, that's quite a long story. Um, so. After I graduated high school, I decided to go over to Humber for fashion, arts and business. It's a program now. And then after that, I decided I no longer wanted to work in fashion. It just, it didn't seem like the route for me. So I actually applied to a holistic nutrition school, got into that, did that for three years. And then I couldn't find anyone to mentor me because uh, I wanted to go into like prenatal nutrition. And so I was like, okay, let me go into social media. Were you always focused on becoming a photographer or was it something you leaned towards in the media program? Not at all, to be honest. Um, so my dad actually, he picked up photography as a hobby when I was, I think about 12. And so I've always been around cameras. So I'd never actually thought of it as an actual career. I always thought it was a hobby. And so when Laura told me, my, our photo my photography teacher, that I should go into food photography or like in photography in general, I was like, what? What do you mean? This is a real career? Like what? I can, I can actually make money? <laughs> and so, yeah, photography has never really been something on my mind. I kind of just fell into it. Who's your favorite teacher? Oh no, that's controversial. <laughs> there, I have so many. We actually have a lot of good profs at GH. Um, oh my goodness. This is my final project that I did in our studio lighting class. And so I had already taken a lot of food pictures before because that's kind of what I focused on in the class. But for this, I started to scroll on Pinterest and I saw that someone had done these sugar-coated cranberries. And I was like, those are really pretty. We're definitely going to throw those into our thing. And then so I had to put them on something. So I made a bundt cake because we had the pan in my house. And I was like, that looks cool. It has a lot of texture on it. It'll photograph nicely. Um, and then I knew I had these cranberries from our Christmas decorations, so I kind of just stole them. Sorry, mom. Um, <laughs> and I put them back uh, under here. They are fake. They're just from like Dollar Emma or something, which is, you can get your props for cheap. <laughs> um, and then I threw them in the back as well and it kind of just turned out how it did. What do you hate shooting? People. <laughs> I hate it with the fact, like, it, it's not that I'd hate the people. I just hate posing now and they always move and like, it's just not my, like, I prefer any sort of, like, product over a person any day. What's your path when you're making a photo? Do you see, like, the finished photo in your head, or do you discover it as you start working on the photo? So I do, definitely do see the finished photo in my head when I plan on doing things. That's how I kind of pull all my props. Like, for my final project, I knew exact like, I knew exactly what it looked like in my mind. And I created it, which was really cool. Popping it is really fun to do. So I always just like go down to my basement and pull props that I see in my head. Or I'll just go down if I'm not inspired and like look for props. And then that prop will trigger the image in my head and I can kind of create it around that. Oh my God. So some of these- You have to tell me if I look like a T-Rex, okay? <laughs> my hands are always like this. <laughs> this. This happens to me a lot in videos that I just- all right, so you're the benevolent leader of the universe. You can do whatever you want. What's your dream shoot? The dream shoot? Yeah. Like at the university? Anywhere? Anywhere in the universe. And, oh, jeez. I would, my absolutely like dream shot would be to do all the photos for the LCBO food and drink magazine. I adore that magazine so much. I just like look at it every season. I'm like, these are beautiful. And so I've been reaching out to all the photographers who do them. Um, to see if I can get an assistant position with them. So hopefully we can get something there because that would be the ultimate dream. What advice would you give to aspiring photographers currently in the media program? My advice would be to work with your photography teacher as much as possible. Um, so no matter who you get, they've been in the industry for quite a while, so they know what they're doing. Um, so just always throw ideas at them, ask them what they would like, things like that, because they obviously have a lot more experience than you. But at the same time, like just try things that are new. Like you have an entire semester to like practice things. So why not? Like the worst that happens is you get don't get a good grade on that assignment. Like, but you're still learning, which is fun. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great attitude to have. We like to learn here. <laughs>